Well, next tonight, news about the news, because tonight ITV News is making history. Yeah, the national and international news, which comes on straight after us, will be an hour long from tonight. Here's Mary to explain. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening, Mr. The ITV Evening News has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Three, two, Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. And the winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world have more of the stories that make you smile. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. And we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. We'll see you indeed. And we caught up with Mary earlier for a quick chat about the New Look News. Yeah, she's very busy, but she <laughs> found time to tell us what viewers could expect from this longer programme. Well, I think it's pretty big. I really do. You know, they're doubling the length of the programme uh, and they have invested an awful lot of money into new resources. It's the biggest uh, investment by ITV News in the network for 20 years. What can viewers expect to see that's different on the evening news from tonight? We always get a bit nervous when, when people mention the word different because actually I don't think we should be doing anything different. We want to do more original journalism, more live coverage, more in-depth stuff, more investigations. You know, if I think back over the last, well, the last couple of years, which have been so busy, haven't they? And I think of the work that Paul Brand did in Care Homes, Dan Hewitt's housing series of the appalling conditions that people are facing. So we have this great well of talent at ITV News and now we're going to have more time to showcase it. So will we be showcasing more of our own journalism, Mary? Yes, definitely. We've taken Hannah Miller from you, I'm afraid, because so we wanted her to work for us up in the north of England. But uh, you have so much talent uh, at, at Granada that we want to actually make use of that. And so I think Granada viewers watching the network news will uh, see some faces that they really recognise from Granada. And, and I think that's important, you know, because we are... Oh, it sounds like a cliche, doesn't it? But ITV is, is, is a big family. I mean, you and I know each other really well, Lucy, over years and years. And I think it's important that we all work together and use this amazing resource that we have that's spread throughout the country. And it's not just news. How big a role is weather going to play in the programme? Ah, uh, weather. Weather's going to be huge. I mean, weather is huge, isn't it? It's the British obsession anyway. But I think more than that now, it is increasingly an important, really impactful news story. And think about the, the terrible storms that have been sweeping the country really all, all this winter. And with that in mind, we have got Alex Beresford joining us from GMB. And he's going to be with me in the studio towards the, the end of every programme. And also, particularly during the summer months when weather allows, he's going to be round the country. So if you look out carefully, you might see him up your way. Brilliant. It all sounds great. And of course, we'll all be watching. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, there's still Hannah and Dan. Uh, on to sport <laughs> now. And at ITV Evening News will, of course, be coming up after us, but not quite as you've seen it before. Yes, from tonight, it'll run for an hour each and every weeknight. Here's Mary Nightingale with the details. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening, Mr. The ITV Evening News has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Three, two, Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. And the winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. 
This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world. We'll have more of the stories that make you smile. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. And we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. You will indeed. Well, earlier I spoke to Mary about the new show and started by asking her how big a moment this is for ITV News. Well, I think it's a really big moment for ITV News. It's the biggest expansion in network news in terms of jobs for about 20 years. There's a lot of extra funding, a lot of extra resources, and we're all pretty excited about it. It feels like the right time to do that. What will viewers see to be different tonight? So let's think about what we're going to be doing that's different and extra. We have invested in more coverage in the north, so we'll be using some of Calendar's people, and I hope that your viewers will enjoy seeing some familiar faces uh, on the network news. Through that, we are going to have a new social affairs correspondent who's going to be based in the north of England. And I think it, we feel it's really important, when you think about who watches ITV, I, I think we all feel our heartland is very much in the north of England and the regions, and we have such a strong network in all those different parts of, of the UK that are served by ITV regions, that we want to make the most of that. We want to really expand our use of the brilliant people that places like Calendar already have. How much more space will there be for original journalism then from both our reporters and from yours? Well, we, we have, of course, the, uh, this luxury of the extra half hour or so, which is fantastic. And at seven o'clock every evening, when normally I'd be saying goodbye, we are going to have a special spot for journalism that you won't see anywhere else. And I'm thinking about the sort of stories that we covered recently, uh, the terrible housing story that we did and uh, Paul Brand's um, party gate coverage, all those revelations about that. Some real original investigations, which we're very good at, I think. I mean, Dan uh, did amazing, amazing work with, with the appalling housing that people are enduring. And so that seven o'clock slot will bring us a real ability to do that at length, in depth, and give people more of the sort of stories that they're really, really interested in. And, and which matter to them. And what about um, weather? How much of a role will that play? Ah, well, we have the uh, surprise gift of Alex Beresford, who is joining us, which is very exciting. And we're going to be bringing the weather actually into the programme. And he's going to be doing all sorts of stories, not only the weather, but climate. And, you know, there are some amazing news stories that have come with these big storms that we'd be, we seem to have been suffering from recently. So Alex is going to be in the studio doing that, but also particularly during the summer months, he's going to be out and about. And hopefully you might see him in your region. Fantastic stuff. Well, good luck, Mary, and thank you thank very you. much for joining us today. Thanks. Thanks, Katie. Lovely to talk to you. And we do wish them all the best. So do join Mary for the hour-long evening news starting tonight. And if you're a soap fan, that means Emmerdale is at the new time slot of 7.30, followed by Coronation Street at 8 o'clock. Now, we've mentioned that the ITV Evening News is coming up after us, but from tonight, it's not quite as you've seen it before. It will now run for an hour each and every weeknight. Here's Mary Nightingale. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening, Mr. The ITV Evening News has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. And the winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world have more of the stories that make you smile. 
Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. And we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. Well, we heard from the programme's presenter, Mary Nightingale, right there. And earlier we spoke to her as she was preparing for the show's big debut. That's right. We asked her a few questions which we thought you might be asking as well, such as what viewers can expect from the new format, including more weather coverage and who we might see popping up on the show. And there are one or two faces which will be familiar to our viewers here at ITV Central as well. But she began by telling us just how big a moment this is for ITV News. It's lovely to be on the programme. Thank you for having me. Um, I think it is a really big moment for ITV News, actually. They've made the biggest investment in new news jobs for 20 years, and they've really bolstered their teams around the country in the different regions. They've given us an extra half hour, so we're going to be running to an hour. That's 90 minutes together with the local news, you know, your programme straight before us. So. I think it's a huge opportunity and, and it's exciting, it really is. We've been getting more, uh, more people watching for the last six years. We've got about three and a half, four million every night. So I think we don't want to change it. We just want to make it more and better. And to that end, we are going to be doing more original journalism, very much calling on the, the huge talents around the country in the different regions. You know, there is no shortage of news at the moment. Sadly, a, a lot of it pretty uh, depressing at the moment. But when you make a news programme, you always have to compromise. You always have to leave things out that you would really like to include. Now, now we will have the luxury of having more time to make the best programme that viewers will want to see. We've been bolstering our teams in the regions. We, we've taken a few of your lot. Yasmin Bottleby has joined us. I think she was at Central until quite recently. Um, uh, she's now going to be working in the north of England. But we want to collaborate. So the big stories that have been been playing very big in the regions. We want to actually bring those into the network and actually work with your teams to cover those in a more local way. You know, we don't want to be London centric. We're very, very aware at ITV News that our heartland is in the Midlands and the north of England in particular. And we want to serve that audience the best way we possibly can. We are bringing on board Alex Beresford, who your viewers may be familiar with from, from GMB. Well, we've stolen him as well. We're on a, we're on a stealing spree. And uh, he's going to be in the studio with me towards the end of every programme and covering those big stories, the big climate stories, the weather stories that are, are so important. And during the summer months, weather permitting, of course, he's going to be out and around uh, the country. So if you keep your eyes peeled, you, you might see uh, Alex in your region as well. I'm sure we will. OK, well, there'll be more from Mary at 6.30, of course, after us. But time now to get the sport. We've got an FA Cup clash tonight, and it's been another busy weekend to round up. Well, the ITV Evening News will be coming up after us, but not quite as you've seen it before. Yes, from tonight, it'll run for an hour each and every night. Here's Mary Nightingale with the details. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening. Mr. The ITV Evening News has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Three, two, Staying on one. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. The winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world have more of the stories that make you smile. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. <laughs> and we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there.
Well, I'm very pleased to say Mary Nightingale joins us on the programme. Hello, Mary. Uh, a big moment for ITV News. Hello, David. Yeah, it, well, it, first of all, it's lovely to be here. Thanks for having me. And, yes, it really is a big, big moment for ITV News, actually. It's the biggest investment that ITV News have made in, in uh, jobs and so on for the last 20 years. So it feels pretty big from where I'm sitting, I have to say. You know, we'll have an hour, and that in itself is significant. But much more than that, I think it's... it's important for the whole of the network, the whole of, of the ITV regions, because it's going to enable us to get out and about, to use all of the talent that there is in the regions and actually showcase that. Is it going to have a very different feel to it? I mean, because, of you know, in television terms, an hour is very different to, to 30 minutes, as you well know. Yes, absolutely. But I, I think what I would say is I... I wouldn't ever use the word different because we don't want the evening news to be different because viewers seem to like what we're doing. We Lots of people watch us between three and a half and four million every evening. We've been increasing our audiences for the last six years. So I think people like what we're doing. So rather than doing it differently, we're just going to do more. Now, that's not just doing more on each story. It'll enable us to have a broader reach of stories. And I think the regions are absolutely central to that. So, you know, for Anglia viewers, I think don't be surprised if, if they see some very familiar faces on the network news, because that's what we aim to do. <laughs> they probably see enough of us, Mary, to be honest, but thank you ever oh, so much indeed for talking to us. And we wish you all the very best of luck to you and the entire team. And we'll all be watching along with everybody else half past six this evening. Thank you, David. The ITV evening news will, of course, be coming up after us, but not quite as you've seen it before. No, from tonight, it'll run for an hour each and every weeknight. And here's Mary Nightingale with the details. This is the ITV evening news with Mary Nightingale. Good evening, Mr. The ITV evening news has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Three, two, Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. And the winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world have more of the stories that make you smile. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. <laughs> and we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. And I'm pleased to say joining us now from the Network News studio, preparing for the programme, is a very busy presenter, Mary Nightingale. <laughs> Mary, how big a moment is this, first of all, for ITV News? Well, Sangeetra, it's lovely to be talking to you. Thank you for having me. Um, I think it's a really important moment for ITV News. I mean, for me personally, obviously, it's very exciting because I'm going to be doing an hour every evening. But it's fantastic for the whole team here in London. But more importantly, I think it's really important for ITV right throughout the country because we've got all of the regions that we want to collaborate with more closely. We spent lots of money, the biggest investment in jobs ITV News have done in 20 years, and we're hiring new people and we're putting new resources in place. And I think it's going to be very, very positive. So tell us, what can the viewers expect to see that's different from the current evening news on ITV? Well, Sangeetra, we get a bit jumpy when people say the word different because we don't want it to be different. That's the first thing, because we are doing something right. We have good viewers. We've had more viewers in the last six years than we've had for a long, long time, about three, four million every night. And so we feel like we must be doing something right. People like what they're getting with the evening news. So I think 
probably the, our way of looking at it is just doing more of the things that we think our viewers enjoy. So more in-depth investigations, more uh, local stories. Uh, you know, when I talk about collaboration, I'm thinking, for example, in the recent storms that hit your region particularly badly, we could collaborate with you at Meridian and we could be using some of your resources, using some of your people. And so I hope for Meridian viewers, they, they will be pleased to see some really familiar faces from your area on the network news well we always work closely so this will be even yeah. better but Mary yeah, will we have a chance to showcase more of our journalism because ITV news has really been leading the way with the news agenda recently Yes, it has. Uh, we're very proud of what uh, our reporters have been doing. I'm thinking Paul Brand and his Partygate staff, Dan Hewitt's amazing stories, amazing real stories of the appalling housing that people are enduring, particularly in London, but out around the country as well. And yes, what we want to do, and particularly at seven o'clock every evening, we're going to have a special spot where we'll be bringing you an extended report, which you will not see on any other news programme, on any other channel. And it's going to be special for the evening news. And that's why we really want to bring in specialist reporters from the regions, from Meridian. You know, if you have a big story, we want to be able to showcase that and, and spread it to a much wider audience. So there's lots of opportunities, I think. And Mary, briefly, we all care about the weather. That's going to play a big <laughs> role in the programme. Yes, it really is. As you say, and we, I think we're all obsessed with the weather, aren't we, Sangeeta? It's, it's the British disease in a way. But we realise that the weather actually is a proper news story now, you know, with climate change and global warming and the increasing, I just mentioned the storms that we've all been enduring. I think weather is no longer a, a nice to have at the end of the news. We're bringing it into the programme. And uh, to that end, I'm going to have Alex Beresford with me in the studio, which is really exciting. He's a great guy. Those of you who watch GMB will be very familiar with him from there. He's going to be in the studio with me every night. We're going to be talking about the big weather stories that, uh, that, that are current. And also, particularly in the summer months, he's going to be out and about, uh, possibly even in your region. So look out for him. <laughs> Mary, not long to go now. All the very best for tonight. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Thanks, Sangeeta. OK, time for the sport now with Sarah Gom. And Sarah, what a magnificent start to the Winter Paralympics. Yeah. Now, the ITV Evening News will, of course, follow us as usual this evening, but from tonight, it will be a little different. Yes, it will now run for an hour each weeknight. Here's Mary Nightingale with the details. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening. Mr. The ITV Evening News has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. The winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world have more of the stories that make you smile. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. And we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. Yes, yeah, so some familiar faces there. Earlier I spoke to Mary, who was preparing for the new programme. I started by asking her how big this is for ITV News. Hi, John. It's lovely to be here. Well, it is a big moment, I think, for ITV News. Uh, I'm excited because I'm going to be presenting a bigger programme. But I think much more than that, it's, it's the amount of investment, the amount of confidence that ITV ha have put in the news operation. They've made a really big investment. They have enabled us to increase our resources, increase our coverage. And it's a real vote of confidence. And, and that's something to be very, very happy about, I think. So with all that in mind, what can viewers expect to see that's going to be different here? All right, well, Jonty, first of all, we, we get nervous if people say different because we, 
ITV Evening News has been doing pretty well, to be honest, over the last couple of years. We've got our highest viewers for, for six years. Uh, we have about three or four million every night. And so we feel like we're doing something right that the viewers are enjoying. So I think rather than thinking of it as a different programme, the way we prefer to think of it is just more of the things that viewers are enjoying. So it will look the same. I think it will feel the same. But we'll have more special investigations. We'll have more original journalism. We have increased our resources in the regions and, and I think what viewers will perhaps notice most of all is that we're going to be covering the regions in even more depth. So we're going to be using some of your reporters, some reporters from all the regions around the country to give us stories that are, are very particularly important to you. So I'm thinking, for example, you know, the recent storms that, that swept across the West Country. That's something I think we'd be collaborating with you, with West Country, to, to cover in more depth. And presumably as well, Mary, you will, we will be hoping that we'll be able to showcase more of our own journalism now that the programme is half an hour longer. Absolutely. And, you know, John, when, when we put together news programmes every day, there are always compromises, aren't there? Because there's never enough time to do all the stories that you would like. So to have this extra half hour or so is going to be a fantastic gift, really, because it's going to enable us to not have to chuck out so much really great stuff that our reporters bring in. And yes, original journalism. I'm thinking of the sort of stories we've done recently. Uh, Paul Brand's Partygate uh, revelations, which I think have you know, taken the country by storm. And I'm thinking Dan Hewitt's amazing coverage of the very poor housing that, that too many people are having to endure. It sounds uh, really exciting and we're all looking forward to it. We can't let you go, Mary, without talking about Alex Beresford. He is, of course, part of the extended uh, evening News. You've pinched in he from was. us here at he West was. Country. Um, and just how big a role is weather <laughs> going to play in the programme then? Well, first of all, apologies to West Country viewers that we've nicked Alex. We, I mean, the way we view it is it, weather is a, a British obsession anyway, isn't it? Uh, but it's more than that now. I think it's a really serious news story. So we thought we would like to bring it within the, the entirety of our programme rather than it standing alone outside the news. And to that end, and we've brought Alex in because, frankly, he's he's the best weatherman, isn't he? He's fantastic, and it's been really um, fun getting to know him across the last couple of weeks. And I think we're going to have some fun with it. But it's not just weather; it's going to be the larger climate stories and so on. And in the summer months, in particular, uh, we're going to be sending Alex out around the country. So you might, if you're lucky, catch a glimpse of Alex Beresford in West Country. If you're very lucky. Yeah, we hope to get him back across this way uh, in the not-too-distant future. Mary, it's always so lovely to talk to you, and we're really looking you forward too. to the new extended evening news. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jonty. And don't forget, it starts this evening. OK, but now it's time to get a roundup of the weekend sport, including another win for extra Chiefs. This Thank evening. You. Thanks, Becky, for that. Now, the ITV Evening News will, of course, be coming up after us, but not quite as you've seen it before. Yes, from tonight, it's going to run for an hour each and every weeknight. Here's Mary with the details. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening, Mr. The ITV Evening News has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Three, two, Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. And the winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondence will be live across the country and around the world. Have more of the stories that make you smile. Is that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. And we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. Well, Jess caught up with Mary Nightingale during rehearsals for the new programme and began by asking her how significant this was for ITV News.
Well, Jess, first of all, thank you for having me on the programme. It's lovely to be here. Uh, I think it really is big. I mean, it's big for me because I'm going to be doing a programme that's twice as long as it has been in the past. But I think it's much more importantly, really big for the whole of ITV News, not just the network where I work in London, but more importantly, actually, for the regions, for all those brilliant journalists, the wealth of talent that we have spread throughout the country. And other than being double the length, what difference can viewers expect to see from tonight's programme? I think it's not a question of it being a, a new or different ITV evening news. It's just a question of doing more of what people enjoy, what our viewers really like. And that, I think, is, is our investigative stuff, our scoops, our arts and showbiz coverage. We're going to be doing more of that with Nina Nana. And we've got an expanded team there. All sorts of things. And I know you touched on it earlier. I guess with more time, there'll be more of a chance to showcase our own original journalism. Absolutely. So there are going to be stories that are important to your region, for example. I mean, I'm thinking about the French fishing blockade. Uh, I mean, I'm, I've lost track of time when that was, but it, it was a, you know, a few months ago. But a story like that has huge national interest. Well, we would come to you and we would collaborate with you and get you to report on that for us. And, and I think that's what we're doing. We're really trying to bolster our regional representation and make it even more of, of, of a nationwide and, of course, worldwide programme. Because let's not forget there are so many extraordinary, very distressing things happening at the world, in the world at the moment. And how big a role is weather going to play in the programme? Well, weather is uh, it's the British obsession, isn't it, Jess? It, it really is. But I think what we've identified is that weather is increasingly a proper news story. You know, climate change, global warming, the storms that have swept the country in, in, in recent months. All of those are stories that are important and they're going to get even more so. So with that in mind, we have got Alex Beresford, who we have um, taken from G GMB. Viewers may be familiar with him from there. And he's going to be in the studio with me doing weather stories every day. Not just what's happening in terms of forecast, but much more broadly in, term, in terms of climate change and, and important issues like that. Mary, I know you'll be busy uh, this afternoon, so I'm going to let you go <laughs> and prepare for tonight's programme. Good luck and thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. Yeah, good luck from us as well. Just chatting to Mary there. That's how your evening news on ITV will look from now on. Well, here's how it is for now, though, on the rest of our programme tonight. Welcome back. The ITV evening news will, of course, be coming up just after UTV Live at 6, but it will not be quite as you've seen it before. Because from tonight, it will run for one hour each and every weeknight. Here's Mary Nightingale with the details. This is the ITV evening news with Mary Nightingale. Good evening, Mr. The ITV Evening News has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. The winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world have more of the stories that make you smile. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. And we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. Earlier I spoke to Mary, who was preparing for the new programme, and I started by asking her how big a moment this was for ITV News. Well, Paula, first of all, thank you for having me on the programme. It's lovely to be here. I, I think it really is uh, a big moment for ITV News. They've made the biggest investment in new jobs uh, in 20 years. 
they have bolstered their teams in the nations and regions and there's a real commitment to an expanded news coverage which at a time when you know we were told weren't we, years ago that no one would be watching television news they'd get all online i think it's a real vote of confidence and it's the, the viewers are watching us and that has to be that has to be fantastic news and what can viewers expect to see that's different on the evening news from tonight now paul i get nervous when the word different is mentioned because what we have said in all of our planning meetings here is that it's not going to be different because we think that viewers broadly like what we do already and we don't want to throw out uh, a successful formula. So what I think we're going to be doing is giving our viewers more of what they like. So more investigations, more original journalism. And I think we will have enough time to do all these stories justice, which is you know, really exciting. ITV News is made up of teams across the regions and the network newsrooms. How much will we be working together? I think increasingly, uh, you know, it's, we have this amazing talent pool at ITV News. and It's spread throughout the, the nations and regions. And we already make very good use of the, the brilliant talent that you have, Tracy McGee and, and Mark Mallett, who, who've contributed so much to our programmes over the last few years. But I think we want to make more use of those resources that, because nobody knows their communities and the stories in their communities like local journalists, do they? So we want to do more of that. We want to hear what's, what's really important in your area and we want to showcase that as best we can. And how big a role is the weather going to play in this programme? Huge. The weather is always huge, isn't it? I mean, it's, everyone is obsessed with the weather. Uh, but actually, it's more than, than just a forecast nowadays, isn't it? Weather is a, a very significant news story, and we're only too aware of that. You know, think of all the storms that lashed the country over the past few months. So I think we, we decided that we need to pay that really good attention, cover things like climate change and global warming. Mary, thank you, and uh, we'll see you shortly. Thank you very much. And now Dan is here with the sport. The ITV Evening News will of course be coming up after us, but not quite as you've seen it before. From tonight, it'll run for an hour each and every weeknight. Here's Mary Nightingale with the details. Mary, great to see you. What a big moment this is for ITV the News. The ITV Evening News ah, yeah. has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Three, two, Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. And the winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> And our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world. We'll have more of the stories that make you smile. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. And we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. Well, last week we spoke to Mary, who was preparing for the new programme. Mary, great to see you. What a big moment this is for ITV News. Hi, uh, and Yeah, it, it really is exciting, actually. Uh, you know, for those of us who are obsessed with news, you can never have too much news. So what a treat for me and all the team here to, to have our on-air time uh, double to an hour because, you know, we always uh, have to make compromises when we put programmes together and there's so much news nowadays, it seems. Uh, and, and it's going to be wonderful to have all the time to, to cover everything that we want to cover and to do it in the amount of detail and do more of the sort of stories that, that our viewers enjoy. Uh, Mary, what can viewers expect to see that's different, if anything at all, on the evening news from tonight? Well, I think I, I wouldn't say that it's going to be different. I would say it's just going to be more of what 
we think people enjoy. So we get about 3 million, 4 million viewers a night uh, on the ITV Evening News, and our audience share has been growing for six years. So we feel like we're doing something right. So we want to not change it, not overhaul it, make it anything different. We just want to do more, more special investigations, more of, of the regional coverage that, that we do well. And we have this wonderful wealth of talent in the regions, which we're going to be able to use more and more. And when I think of, uh, you know, for example, we think of our heartland really as being the north of England uh, uh, and the Midlands, but the north of England is very, very strong for ITV. And so we want to get out there as much as we possibly can. And for viewers of Tyne Tees, I think they might recognise a few of their faces, a few of your faces on the network news as well, because you've got all that talent there. We want to bring that into the central hub so everyone can see uh, exactly what you're doing there. We're going to be, uh, we've got a new social affairs correspondent who's going to be based in the north of England and uh, we're going to be just doing more, if you like. Delighted that ITV Tite is going to be involved again with the network and Very continuing so. that collaboration. And also weather is going to play a significant role in this programme. Yeah, well, weather is everyone's obsession anyway. I think we all acknowledge that. And recently, over the last few years, you know, with increasing frequency of these quite serious storms and so on, weather is news now. And, uh, and the climate, of course, particularly so. So I am going to have a partner in crime in the studio. We've got Alex Beresford coming to join us as our dedicated weather presenter. And he's going to be with me in the studio every evening. But sometimes, and hopefully more in the summer, he's going to be out and about around the regions doing stories where you are. So so um, I'm hoping that Time Tees viewers can keep their eyes peeled and they might just see Alex doing some weather from where you are. Mary, uh, it's been great to talk to you. We wish you and the team the very best of luck and look forward to working together more closely in the future. Thanks, Amy. Looking forward to it. Bye. Turning to sport now. It's been a good weekend for our teams. But first, as always, the ITV Evening News will be coming up after Wales at six. But tonight, it's not quite as you've seen it before. From this evening, it will run for an hour each and every weeknight. Here's Mary Nightingale with the details. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening. Mr. The ITV Evening News has been a constant presence on our TV screens for more than two decades, broadcasting live into millions of homes every day. Three, two, Staying on eight. Now we're getting even bigger. We've expanded our teams across the UK. It's a busy and bustling red carpet. And the winds have been really picking up here since that amber warning came into place. Today has been nothing short of a disaster for the DUP. There'll be more of the investigative journalism we do best. This is all mould. This is all mould. <laughs> this fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> and our correspondents will be live across the country and around the world have more of the stories that make you smile. Was that a good surprise? Yeah. I can stay here now. <laughs> and we're bringing the national weather into the programme too, both in the studio and out on location. Inside those doors is a huge studio, which I'm still trying to get to grips with. I can't wait to show it off. Thank you very much indeed for that. So that's what's coming up, and it all starts tonight here on ITV. We'll see you there. It doesn't heat indeed. Well, Jonathan Hill caught up with Mary to find out how preparations are coming along ahead of the first programme this evening. Let's take a look. Mary, how big a moment is this for ITV News? Well, John, it's lovely to talk to you. Thank you for, for giving me time on the programme today. It, I think it's really important for ITV News. It's a, a measure of the, of the importance that ITV places on news. And they've made their biggest investment in new jobs for 20 years. Uh, they've bolstered their teams in the regions, the nations and regions. And I think it's a very good... Uh, sign of confidence in what we're all doing and, and that, that's good for all of us and it's really good for the viewer too. And what can viewers expect to see that's different on the evening news from tonight? Well I would say that I wouldn't use the word different. It's going to be longer, it's going to be twice as long um, but I think it's going to be more of the same rather than different. So I think 
probably what viewers would notice most would be more collaboration with the nations and regions. We've bolstered our team in Wales. We've got a new report there. And, uh, and also we're going to be using some of the existing people. So for people watching in Wales, I think they might recognise some familiar faces from their own programming. Will we be showcasing more of our, our own journalism uh, in this new programme? Absolutely. And, and Jonathan, when I think you and I saw each other last at Abavan, which it extraordinarily was six whole years ago, you know, I like to think that you might be covering that for us, you know, were that to happen uh, under the new regime of the, of the longer programme, because you were the expert in it. No one knows uh, their own communities like regional reporters and presenters. So I think it will be uh, a real opportunity to showcase some of the talent that we have in the regions. One thing that we don't have a shortage of right now is news, Jonathan, and I think having that full hour, it, it's, we're going to be able to use every moment of it. On a lighter note, we love talking about the weather in Wales. Uh, how, big a, <laughs> how big a role is the weather going to play in this new programme? <laughs> Everyone's obsessed with the weather in this country. Everybody is. But actually, yes, weather is... People are obsessed with, is it going to be sunny tomorrow? But of course, weather is a much more important story than that, and increasingly so with climate change and global warming. So with that in mind, we have got a new presenter. We've got Alex Beresford, who's going to be joining me in the studio every evening and talking about not just the weather forecast, but some of the broader weather stories too. And uh, in the summer, uh, he'll be out and about in the different regions, in the nations and regions. Uh, and hopefully you will, if you keep your eyes peeled, you might see him there. Well, we'll certainly uh, look out for him and we're looking forward to working with, uh, with you on the new programme and the very best of luck. Likewise. Thank you very much, John. There you go. Not very long to wait now. There's a new schedule on STV tonight with Emmerdale at 7.30 and Coronation Street at 8. And before that, the ITV evening news expands to an hour. Its presenter is Mary Nightingale and she told me what we can expect. Well, hi, Gordon. It's lovely to be on your programme. Thanks for having me. Um, I think it's a really big moment for ITV News because it's uh, a, a demonstration of their seriousness about news. They've invested a, an awful lot of money in bolstering the teams out in the nations and regions, and they are giving us more time. So I think from our point of view as news people, but more importantly, obviously, from the viewers' point of view, I think that's all good. And STV viewers will want to know, will they see more coverage from Scotland on the programme? So our view is we want to do more of the things that people enjoy watching. So we will be doing more uh, reporting from the nations and regions. We're going to be doing more investigations, more uh, special original journalism and using very much the resources that we have in the regions. And I know we've bolstered our team in Scotland, Peter Smith and Louise Scott, who I think used to be STV, didn't they? And they are now very much part of our team. And and it's wonderful to have that extra firepower that spread evenly throughout the, throughout the nation. It's great. OK, Mary, you'll be here with the ITV Evening News at 6.30. But thanks for joining us on the STV News. Thank you, Gordon. Nice talking to you. Yes, do stay tuned for that.